So it's Saturday night and there's no UFC and I thought to myself, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't seen any of my old friends in a very long time. So why not go about London town and enjoy myself for an evening for once? Because I rarely do so. And on this one day that I choose to go out and do this, none other than Dan Hardy and Mark Goddard on the Full Reptile channel make an entire live stream dedicated to slandering my name, okay? And this is because I made a video on my second channel breaking down how I believed that Mark Goddard was very biased in his refereeing during Covington versus Usman 1 because in that fight he said no more breaks to Colby Covington in a championship fight after Colby Covington was clearly eye-poked by Kamaru Usman. So I broke down why I felt like Mark Goddard was being very biased and why I believe he made some terrible refereeing decisions in that matchup. You can check it out on my second channel, the MMA Guru Clips. Mark Goddard. And this is juicy. I've got, I've got comments from Dan Hardy here. Okay? He's responded to me. And I'm going to go through them with you in today's video. Mark Goddard then tweeted about that video very aggressively. Very, very aggressively. He called me pathetic. He called me all of this, all of that. It's all good. I didn't mind any of it. He then deleted that tweet. Who knows why? Coward? Perhaps. But he deleted the tweet. And then nothing else happened. And then all of a sudden, I'm on my stream on Sunday. And I'm getting people in the chat. Did you see that Mark Goddard and Dan Hardy slandered you for an hour and a half on a live stream? And I was thinking to myself, nah, there's no way that's happened. There's no way two grown men have spoke about me for an hour and a half or an hour, just over an hour on a podcast. There's no way that they've done that. Two esteemed gentlemen in the MMA community, such as Dan Hardy and Mark Goddard. There's no way two grown men, middle-aged men, getting towards senile stage of their aging period, okay? They're getting towards the OAP area. There's no way they would do that, but they did. And the video has been taken down by them. Dan Hardy made a video just trashing me. And I and just talking about my videos. And talking about how I'm this, how I'm that, how I'm disrespectful, how I'm desperate for attention, how I'm botting my viewers and creating fake accounts to like all my comments, and how I'm creating fake accounts on Twitter to talk about the MMA guru, and how I'm faking everything. Like, it's not my fault my fans and I have a very strong connection with each other, okay? I'm live talking to them basically 360 days out of 365 a year, okay? So they get around, and they back me up when I'm not there. And they took down the video. And I was thinking, okay, am I still confirmed that they did this or not? Because I've heard some things that they said on there. And then I go to the channel of Dan Hardy on Full Reptile. And I comment on his latest video, which has 4,000 views, by the way. Embarrassing. Honestly, I have never had a video do that low in the past year or so. Um, and if I did, I would take it down, just like they took down their podcast about me. But they made a video about Jing, Zhong Jing Nan versus Angela Lee 3, and it has 4,000 views. Okay, embarrassing. Just embarrassing. Embarrassingly low numbers. Okay? And I posted a comment saying, yo, re-upload that video, please. I missed it. Just to just, I didn't think anything would come out of this. Just to throw it out there, maybe I'll get a response. And boy, did I get a response from Dan Hardy. Oh my God, Dan Hardy. <clears throat> In a response to me saying, yo, re-upload that video, please. I missed it. Said, I'm sorry, mate. It's gone. On my, conscious, uh, on my conscience, I can't compound your physiological state any further my psychological state oh my god i'm reading this so badly i'm so excited by this okay on my conscience 
I can't compound your psychological state any further. So out of pity for me, he doesn't want to encourage bullying against me. Like he doesn't see what my live chat do to me on a regular basis. I'm paid to be bullied. I can take it, Dan Hardy. He then said, Mark, spelt with a C because it's incorrect, um, has invited you to do his refereeing and judging course in October for free. If you're keen, though, 15th and the 16th, I believe? Let me know and I'll arrange it for you. It's really informative and will help you have a better understanding about some of your misconceptions, says Dan Hardy. I hope you are okay, my friend. Reach out to someone before doing something to hurt yourself or someone else. So he's assuming I'm like an active shooter here. It's essentially is that last little line. Is it or is it not? Reach out to someone before doing something to hurt yourself or someone else. On my conscience, I can't compound your psychological state any further. So he's belittling me as if I'm mentally insane or potentially self deletional Okay, because I can't say the word because I'll get demonetized. Glack, glack. You know what I'm saying? He's assuming that I'm that because I believe that Mark Goddard should have stepped in when Covington got eye-poked and should have given Covington a break just when in reality he didn't give Covington a break at all and said no more breaks to Covington who had had no breaks in the entire fight. And because I believe that the back of the headshots were illegal at the end of the fight, which they were because they're back of the headshots. So that's that. And I responded to Dan Hardy. I said to him, Ah, yes, of course. Calling out the fact that Goddard disallowed Covington a break for an eye poke in a championship fight must make me a clickety-clack-clack my selfie and a psycho. Come on, Daniel. I'm a big boy. Let me see the video. I need a good Monday morning chuckle. Also, the course sounds fun that he invited me to from Mark Goddard, but I'd rather not waste the UFC 280 build-up learning that an eye-poked fighter needs a break and that back of the headshots are illegal. Why not repost the video of your arguments against my points if it was so correct and informative and not in any way two grown embarrassments crying over a 10 minute video for an hour and a half you're still the best analyst in the game though except your failure to analyze the comedy that is juliana pena's striking love guru now i thought this was a very very good response from myself um but this is just another beef i found myself in i guess Dan Hardy just slandering me for an entire podcast and then deleting it. That's the problem that I have. I want to see it because I'll just chuckle. I'm not going to go out and attack the poor civilians of London because you made a video about me, Dan Hardy. I don't know if that's like a reflection of how you feel. Okay, Mr. Ego Death. Like, it's just... I. Let me see the video of the slander. It'd be so fun. Let me see the video of you slandering me for an hour and a half. You little gremlin. Okay? And Dan Hardy would mess me up. He would beat me up. And so would Mark Goddard. I've said that on many occasions. However, Covington should have been given an eye poke and a timeout for it. And Usman finished him with back of the head shots. And Mark Goddard officiated those moments terribly and ruined history in the making in one of the biggest championship fights in welterweight history. So regardless if you can beat me up or not, I'm right. And you know I'm right, which is why you deleted the stream because I've heard about some of the stuff you were going into. Allegedly. And feel free to release the stream if I'm wrong. My fans have claimed that you spent, no joke, half an hour breaking down 
how when I said at the start of my video, Mark Goddard only shook the hand of Usman and not Covington, you spent half an hour crying that I was lying and finding an aerial view of the octagon at the same time showing that Goddard shook the hand of Covington before the fight. In my opinion, the fact that that was your key anti-guru slander moment of my entire video proves that the other things I was talking about in that video were indeed correct. That you spent that long trying to prove, uh, no, he shook Covington's hand as well. That was a throwaway line in my video. It was not the main substance, okay? That was the starter dish. That was the garlic bread, okay? That was not the the main course, which I feel like you didn't address, but maybe you did. So I'd like you to release that video, you child, okay? <laughs> Throwing a hissy fit and also acting like I need you. I don't need you. Why are people acting like this? When my name gets brought up, yeah, in MMA, people act like I'm not out viewing them. And it's getting rather annoying, okay? That's the bit that does annoy me. This new up-and-comer. Dude, your last videos have got 3.9k views, 4.3k views, 7.9k views, 5.1k views. Okay? My last four videos have gotten 21k views, 20k views, 13k and 15k. I'm not this small fry. Okay? I know I have way less subscribers. Don't know why that is. But I'm coming up right now in the MMA scene. And post the video of you slandering me. If it's such a good video. And I said this in my response to him as well. He's talking about, you know, come to this event. And, and, and meet Goddard in person. Like Goddard isn't going to be in, in any way malicious towards me in that moment. Because I'm sure he will be. Um, because I called him a fat pig. And to be fair, he has gained a couple of pounds. Okay? Just going to point out is the fact that he can beat me up does not remove the truth, okay? He has packed on the pounds. I'm just going to mention it, okay? He needs to settle on the entrees, get a soup for dinner. Who knows? Um, but he mentioned stuff like come to the uh, event, October 15th, 16th for a seminar. And, and maybe you'll have a better understanding about some of your misconceptions. Well, you made a whole video to give me a better understanding of my misconceptions. You made an hour and a half long video crying as a grown man about some of my misconceptions. If the video was so good, I would have learned from it. Why take it down? Why take it down, Dan Hardy? Did you perhaps embarrass yourself? Getting emotional over nothing? Because there's a part of the MMA world right now it's not even a part of the MMA world. It's just MMA fighters in general. This is why I'm being kind of rejected. They cannot take criticism at all. And even the ones that are retired, like Dan Hardy, oh, I've been to the Himalayan jungle to do ayahuasca and have ego death. Even the ones, yeah, that grew up on the streets of England where slander of the name is banter, okay? That's how it is growing up in the UK. If you're roasting someone, it's almost a compliment. And for Dan Hardy, this Mr. Ego Deaf guy, to not take a sliver of criticism, and for Mark Goddard not to understand that, yes, you should have given Covington a timeout for the eye poke, and instead to ramble on about it, on two different occasions, and then fucking back down like a coward, and remove the fucking content. I post videos, I leave them up. One time I didn't leave up a video, someone changed a Wikipedia article years and years ago, and it said that Alexander Rakic KO'd Adesanya with a head kick in kickboxing, and I make a whole video about it, and I deleted it after an hour. Okay? Because it was wrong and I got bamboozled. If I make a point, I leave the video up. Mark Goddard whinging on Twitter and then deleting all of his tweets afterwards. And then Dan Hardy and Goddard making an hour and a half long podcast and then removing it. We don't want to have you go out on a rampage 
and kill everyone and yourself. Like, what? How is that the demeaning tone I'm getting here? On my conscious, I can't compound your psychological state any further. You must be crazy. I must be crazy. I must be out of my mind to see that Covington got eye-poked and Goddard in a championship fight said no more breaks despite Covington not have receiving not have received any breaks in that fight. I must be crazy. Maybe I am. Or maybe everyone else in this MMA scene is a delusional self-entitled can't. I don't want to say it too obviously because I will get demonetized, but hopefully that twang of the word throws off the um the YouTube admins. God, how annoying. I wanted to see the video so bad. I heard they were watching my videos on the stream. Oh, man. I want to see it so bad. I got more beef now. This is just silly. Oh, I can't wait until I get thrown into a fucking wall at the next UFC London or something. <laughs> Imagine the content. Imagine the content. The MMA guru gets beaten up at UFC London. <laughs> by mark goddard and dan hardy man i'm not afraid okay i'm just not afraid because i'm right and i'll be right and this is why these guys can't take criticism because they can be they are so god complexy i joke about this on stream where i'm like i'm and i know i have a cult <laughs> listen fuck that's actually kind of counterproductive i know i have a cult but these guys are the ones with a god complex, okay? I know I call it the beanie cult, and it's all like sarcasm, it's irony, we're joking around, it's not really that way, okay? I take criticism non-stop in my stream, and I'm cool with it. Or if I get angry, it's like it's content that we're bickering, you know what I mean? But these MMA fighters and MMA-themed people are so god complexy, it's crazy, it's so crazy. And his girlfriend, Veronica Macedo, she had no problem. And apparently Dan Hardy brought up that I was disrespectful to her and, and all this type of stuff. I really want to see the video. Because she allegedly had no problem with what I said. Because she left a comment, and this must have been where he was introduced to my channel. I made a video called Hottest Female, uh, Female UFC Fighter Tier List. And I broke down some of the hottest female UFC fighters. And she has the top comment on the post saying, Thank you, MMA guru. Nothing for my confidence like a true alpha male sitting in a shed ranking me on a tier list scale. Because that's how I described myself in the video. A true alpha male sitting in a shed ranking females on a tier list scale. Honored to make the list, laughing face. Dan says thanks, not really. So obviously she's mentioned this to him. And it's caused an absolute riot in his brain. And now he's just emotionally going after me. Oh, please re-upload. It must be so funny. Uh, that is actually one of the... I can't believe none of you clipped... Someone, last message. Someone, if you have the footage, please re-upload it. Take the copyright strike. Just upload it. Please. Upload it on a channel you do not care about. Make a new channel. Upload it if you have footage of it. In any way whatsoever. I need to see them and their emotional breakdown. Because there's a reason why they made a whole long video about me. And then an hour later they thought, Oh shit, maybe we shouldn't leave that one up. And they took it down. When have you ever seen a guy like Dan Hardy take down a video? If he's so convinced over a point. He must have been so emotionally incorrect. Come on, Dan Hardy. Re-upload it, Hardy, on Twitter. Get this man to re-upload that video. I want to see it. <sighs> but whatever. There we go. That's my video for today. I was so angry that I missed out. But, you know, I'm honestly flattered, dude, you know. I see your views are really low right now. Pfft. I mean, that's the views that you're getting. I mean, my second channel. If I, if I even got those views on my second channel with like 10k subs, I'd be embarrassed. And you've got 164,000 subscribers. My second channel's got 11k and it like nearly doubles your views every time, recently at least. So you're pretty low on content if there isn't a massive fight coming up. 
So, um, you know, I get it why you made the video, but, you know, just post it, dude. You know what I mean? I'm a big guy. I can take it. I won't cry and delete myself and harm others because of my psychological state. God, what a weirdo. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Maybe we'll get another podcast. Maybe we'll get a redo where they watch this. That'll be fun. Jesus, these children. See you later. Goodbye.